All right, you guys, new product alert. And as always, Joy the Snapper is here to give you the latest and greatest. We now have a new flip phone option in the US market that is meant to change how flip phones work. We're talking about a phone that's gonna give you a basic smartphone-like experience, but with the user interface of a flip phone. Let's zoom into this. As you can see, you're gonna have Google Map, Google Assistant, even YouTube on there as pre-installed apps to give those that don't feel comfortable using a smartphone the ability to access some basic smartphone apps, some of the most used apps in history, such as Google Maps and YouTube. Incredible. A flip phone with a really good GPS and a YouTube app. I really haven't seen a phone like this available for the mass market being advertised by a big carrier like T-Mobile. So without further ado, thank you so much for watching my video and let's keep going as you describe the new Alcatel Go Flip 3. So let's start with the setup. Immediately when you set the device up, you select your language and then you are given a select network display. The device asks you to select a Wi-Fi network. We're going to do this guest network here. Where is it? There it is. It's going to let us connect to Wi-Fi. So as you can see in the upper right, you have Wi-Fi, you have a SIM card reader, you have all of the cute stuff. Let's look at the physical before we continue. We have a headphone jack on this side of the device. We also have a micro USB connector and you have a beautiful, beautiful display on the back side of the flip phone that you are expected to have. Most flip phones have those. You have a rear camera as well. You have the audio speaker right here and then you have the mic on the bottom. Very, very good. Big, big, big numbers down here for the dial pad. Very good for those of us that are trying to give this to someone that doesn't really have the ability to, to go into small little dots and all that. So let's continue and look through this. So we connected to the Wi-Fi network. We're gonna click next. You could use Wi-Fi calling on here. So even when you don't have cell phone towers available, you could use Wi-Fi calling on this device. This is a big thing, folks. This brings basic smartphone connection to a basic device. Very good for those of us that want something that isn't a smartphone. Let's skip that. Anti-theft, pretty cool. Let's continue. Let's go into the settings. It has audio, auto updates for the time. We're gonna continue next, accept the privacy, yada, yada, continue. Over the age of 16, next, boom. Here you have it. Immediately, it teaches you how to use the device. If you click on the left side, you're gonna have access up for those, for quick settings. Okay, for Google Voice, Google Voice to speak. Cool. So immediately you tick to the left, you have the option to select your app. So if we select YouTube, wow, here you have it. You literally have YouTube running on a flip phone, folks. This is incredible. Wow. And oh my goodness. You have YouTube running on a flip phone. So this is amazing. This is innovation. Look at how nice it is. You've increased the volume a little. Wow, that audio is pretty good. This is a flip phone, folks. This is a device that is less than $100. Over there. This is incredible, honestly. Their ship is so big. Oh, they say YouTube options. What so happens if you? Hmm. Why is that? Because it looks better? Can we? This phone has seen us no. in many stores. Ooh. It doesn't look like much. Wow. Something there's never will. There you have it, folks. Next? Full screen YouTube video <laughs> on a flip phone. Here. Jaw-dropping experience, folks. We just accessed YouTube on a flip phone. This is next level, folks. Let's go back by pressing the red key. You go back immediately, press it again. You keep going back, press it again. You're back to the main screen. Let's look at the basic apps. I'm gonna select the middle button, the okay button. As you can see, you have your call log, your contacts, a store, interesting. Maybe you could download some apps onto this device. The camera app as expected, the clock, gallery, the browser, and all that beautiful stuff. So besides YouTube, what do we have going on these apps? We have Google Maps, folks. You could actually click on Google Maps, search for a location. So let's say you want to search for Walmart, and it hooks it up for you. It tells you the nearest location to you. You have Walmart Supercenter, gives you the reviews, it tells you the location, the addresses. Similar like Google Maps, it's like a miniature version of Google Maps. You click on it, it tells you the address, go up to the upper right, and you could, you could um, do the uh, directions from your location. Now, this device does not have a SIM card in it, so I'm not sure if it'll register the location. And it did register the location. And it'll be a nine minute drive, so we click it, click go. It's literally a miniature version of Google Maps on smartphones. Very nice, you click next. It'll tell you where to go and all that beautiful stuff. So now, now let's go back. Um, 
We don't have an app switcher here. I guess you could only use one app at a time. The fact this phone even has these apps on there is simply amazing. Very good way to introduce anyone that is used to, to flip phones to smartphone applications and get them to transition to a smartphone. That's one thing. What if they don't want that and they just want this user interface and just want the apps that are on smartphones? You're gonna have Google Maps and YouTube. You also have the Google Assistant, which is very similar to Google Voice. Um, you can select the language you wanna speak in. Let's say it's English, okay. Okay, we're gonna read the, the Google blah, blah, blah. It can remember your voice, very, very uh, Siri-like. So as you can see, press the mic to speak, open camera, make a phone call. So you press the mic up here. Hello, open camera. Sorry, I can't help with that. And he can't help with that. It's like a basic version of Google Assistant, very nice. Now the device isn't an Android device. If you guys are asking that, it has its own type of user interface. It's like a baby Android, if anything. <laughs> so you let's click the, uh, the middle button, as you can see, we have the same apps as you mentioned earlier. Speaking of camera, what's going on with the camera, folks? Uh, we're gonna allow it to check out. As you can see, we do have a basic camera here. Very low resolution, honestly. It's nothing, nothing to to go crazy about. The display is pretty eh. Um, but, you know, it is a flip phone. It is a device that's less than $100. You're not gonna expect anything that's HD or crazy, crazy, crazy good. Um, but yeah, so that there you have it, folks. That's a, a run through of the Alcatel Go Flip 3 flip phone. Um, currently available at major carrier locations like T-Mobile. Very nice device, very snappy buttons. Um, you do feel them, it's very loud. So the audio is good if we go into, let's close that. If we go into the ringtones in the settings app. Oh look, you can actually scroll down and you have more apps. You have music, calculator, FM radio, calendar. You even have email access. You have a recorder if you want to record stuff. Settings. We're gonna go to Wi-Fi on, Bluetooth off. But before I continue, let's go into this weird app store. I wanna see something. We have the store here. I wanna see if this is an actual app store. So it's powered by Kai OS. So we wanna see what's in there. Again, the device is connected to Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi is relatively moderately fast. So we should be getting something popping up already. So the device by itself without 4G LTE connection isn't too fast, but it is a 4G LTE device with Wi-Fi calling capabilities as the box states. So this is an LTE flip phone. The store's taking a little while to load, but while that loads, let's discuss some of the specs on this device. So in terms of specifications, here you have it, folks. You have a 2.8 inch display. You have a 1.4 inch display in the back. You have a two megapixel rear camera. The quality is fairly two megapixel from what we saw. You do have Wi-Fi calling. You have voice over LTE capabilities, the music player, the web browser, 4G LTE, as mentioned before, we have a quad-core processor, so it is pretty snappy for a flip phone, but when it comes to loading apps, it doesn't seem too fast. You have a simple-to-use interface, you have a micro SD card slot, that's for extra pictures, and you have a 1,300 milliamp battery. Very good device for that. Big things with this device, this is what Alcatel wants you guys to know, what this carrier wants you guys to know. It's easy to use, as mentioned earlier, we have HD voice, you have a long-lasting battery, you have Google Assistant, you have app shortcut menus, and you have accessibility features for those of us that don't have the ability to just use the phone as is. So yeah, folks, you have all of that extra beautiful stuff, hearing aid capable, the Wi-Fi calling as mentioned earlier, you know, HD voice, you know, we have a great, great device here, great flip phone. Do I recommend it over the Go Flip 2 or the CoolPad Snap? <laughs> Yes, I do. Honestly, it is a much better device. You are getting a beautiful display on the outside, a beautiful display on the inside, but the store did not load. It kind of closed off on me. Um, you have these shortcuts. Press up, you have app shortcuts, similar to how you would get on an Android smartphone or iPhone. Then you have the brightness, which you could increase. Very, very nice. I like that. Look at that, 10%, 40%, 70%, 100%. You have airplane mode on and off. You have that Wi-Fi connection. You have cellular data. You have Bluetooth. You have the camera. Want to exit? Press the red button. Go down. You have your... Go down. Down doesn't do anything. Go to your right. Nothing. Go to your left. You have those apps on the left side. Go to the middle. You got your regular apps. Now, can you move these apps to the home screen? Let's see. Move. Can you move it to the home screen? You can move them around here, but doesn't let me put them on the home screen. But you can't move them around. Select another one, select the settings app. Move. Can you move them to the home screen? Nah, it doesn't let you do it. But doesn't matter. We really don't want to overcomplicate things for anyone using this device or for us in general. We, we have a really nice interface here for a flip phone. So as mentioned earlier, definitely a great device, definitely snappy, definitely fast, definitely cool. 
Do I recommend it? Yes. Is it a good price point? Eh. Yes, you do have those extra YouTube app features in there that really just blew me away. I'm pretty shocked that this even has that. Um, but yeah, folks, let me know what you guys think in the comment below. Let me know what you guys think about the flip phone industry. Do you think this is a necessity still in today's world? Do you think we should just give them up and go into the smartphone world and just use touch screens? Should this have a touch screen? Actually, I think if this had a touch screen, it would have been cool too. It would have been much easier to use in my opinion. Um, I would have loved to have been able to scroll around with YouTube. So even if if, if I'm a user that's uh, using the, the touchpad, I would have loved to have been able to touch the screen and, and scroll around with YouTube. But I get it. See, it's not a touch screen, but I get it. It lowers the price point um, to, to below $100 by not adding that touch screen. But you have a lot of touch screen phones that, you know, are around that $100 price or less. So I don't think it would have cost that much to add a touch screen on there. Maybe an extra 10 or 15 bucks to the consumer in my opinion. But anyhow, great device. Definitely recommend it for flip phone enthusiasts. Let me know what you guys think. Please subscribe, please share. As always, Joey the Snapper is here for you guys. And we're here and we're part of the internet. And I'm never gonna sign out because as I mentioned always, always part of the internet. And have a great and wonderful day, y'all snappers.